All right, this is our first official scamp tour after we've done some Ikea hacking. Uh, right now we just have the lighting um, that you would see if we were on battery. We replaced all the original lights with LED. We have one, two, three, four lights that would be operational if we were just on battery and it's plenty bright in here. Um, I'm gonna turn them off though and you'll see the difference. We installed some strip LED lighting that um, is AC powered. They're dimmable, which is nice. This is um, so this is the lowest setting, and that's the highest. It also has some cool like mood lighting functions. So there's eight different colors. And then you can run through some kind of mixtures of color. Autumn, Christmas, uh, 4th of July. Stick the little remote with the Velcro here so when you're in bed you can turn the lights on and off. This is our second space heater. We somehow broke the first one or it just was old uh, the instant we got to the campground for our first winter camping. Um, so we bought this one at Walmart and it works really well. It has a uh, high and low setting. You can oscillate. Um, this only works if you're hooked up to shore power, but it was great. It kept us really warm all night. So now we have the lights uh, hooked up to a portable power station. It's 150 watt hours. Uh, it's tiny, weighs a couple pounds. It'll probably run the lights for several hours. Also, it will run our little refrigerator, which we have in here for about four or five hours. And so just a little bit of a, a dorm fridge that we use. Yeah, no freezer. Yeah. And we have these boards here just so the yeah. door doesn't come open during travel. Yeah, we removed the bathroom door because it's just gone the way when we were in here. Well, it's also heavy. And it didn't fit very well. So this is, we keep the dinette set up as a bed permanently and we got this tray at Ikea. So if you want to sit in here and have a cup of coffee, um, it's, it's nice. You don't have to, you don't need a table. Um, this little thing here fits a, like a Kindle Fire or an iPad so you can set it in there and watch a movie on it. We did that over the weekend, which was fun. Um, and it folds flat. So we keep it out of the way. Um, and it's light. And I think it was cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks at Ikea. Uh, some more Ikea stuff underneath the, um, underneath the dinette slash bed. We have these storage containers. We've got a couple of these Everdry, um, little mini dehumidifiers that, uh, are renewable so they'll absorb some water out of the air and then when you're ready to, when you see the little color change, you can plug them in and it'll dry them out and you can reuse them. So we have a couple of these. These are nice. They have, uh, handles. I think these are scoob or scubs, SKUBs, um, that are also very lightweight, also available at IKEA. Um, when we start full timing, we'll probably use this area to store our clothing. Uh, got this little carpet at IKEA. It's just nice. You can shake it out. Um, I was very tempted to pull up the carpeting and put some vinyl flooring in here but we ultimately decide not to it's kind of nice to um, have a surface that's a little bit warmer um, other favorite things we get at IKEA are these um, little pegboard organizers and they're great I love them um, they're modular so you can get as many of the little attachments as you want and put them on here this one we installed uh, on the doors is directed, you know, with screws and the equipment that came with it. Um, but this one, we just uh, we use some cable ties to just tie it to the little um, wrought iron uprights. And it's great because when you're in bed, it's got a little area that you can put your phone when it's charging or uh, hang up a little uh, flashlight or, you know, a set of keys or something. So it's really nice, it just keeps keeps crap off the counter, which is great, because um, there's not a whole lot of counter space in here. Um, 
We used Reflectix. I got a big roll of it on Amazon for I think 30 bucks and it was more than enough to cover every single window in here. Um, weren't really sure how we were gonna um, apply it. Uh, there's, I don't know if I would do it this way again, but it seems to be working for the moment. We just uh, stapled some, some Velcro onto it and then the Velcro just um, attaches right to the to the rat fur. Uh, the windows are, the frames are metal though, so you could potentially use some of those super strong magnets to do this. We may adjust, um, we may adjust as we, as we go, but uh, I think it made a big difference uh, as far as keeping the temperature really warm in here over the weekend. And the other nice thing about it is it really is great at blocking out light. So uh, kind of like in a hotel, it uh, keeps it dark until you're ready to get up. Although we're typically up before the sun was up anyway. Um, we don't run water or um, We've never filled the water tank in here. We've never used the propane stove. Actually, this time we kept it really simple for cooking. We actually didn't heat anything other than um, I use uh, I use an electric kettle for coffee, and we make it with a uh, with the French press. Um, and that's the only thing that we used heat for this time. Uh, this is another great IKEA find. It just kind of keeps all of our coffee supplies in one area so we got these little sleeves that go in your um, French press it's great because uh, you can just pull it out it makes it way easier to clean the French press without having to run a bunch of water in it you can just pull out the bag and then um, kind of coffee snobs and I just wound up getting a little uh, manual burr grinder um, and by the time the water's done um, heating, I've ground enough beans for coffee. So it's a little bit of work, but it's not bad, especially with the French press. You're not grinding them super fine, so it doesn't take too long. And um, it's one of those things we just can't do without. <laughs> um, so. Most of the stuff I've gotten on Amazon, if um, maybe we'll put some links in the show page so you can figure out where to get these things. Um, this is Kugis, another um, IKEA find. I've got this one here. I've got another one in the ice box, which obviously we're not using as an ice box. I use it to store, um, well, apparently, some. Uh, insect spray which we did not use this trip but I've got one it fits really nicely down in this ice box so at some point it's gonna hold something we just haven't figured out what um, maybe the insect spray oh and these these are key these are clutch these Yeti coffee mugs they fit 14 ounces got a little sipper top um, insulated keep the coffee warm I guess if you're camping someplace that's uh, uh, alcohol is not allowed. They'd also be a really nice container for a 12 ounce beer, so we'll keep those around. Um, and like I said, we don't run water. Ian's got the sink, uh, the drain set up, so we could potentially run some water in the sink and drain it out, but I don't know, we didn't really seem to need to, Not at least not while you're at a campground with a bathroom, because um, we're going to the bathroom anyway, so brushing our teeth there. but. This is just a you know collapsible water cube I got at um, REI for cheap I think less than 20 bucks and um, you know uh, we had enough well, I filled this thing up once it is enough water to put do dog water in the dog bowl and fill our water bottles and uh, make coffee every morning for three nights so so some of the other mods that we had are um, air conditioning. We put this in a well, few years we didn't back. Put it in. Well, we hired someone <laughs> to put it in. So we just put a wall unit, um, just um, carved a hole out essentially. And the other thing we have is a pad. The bed. People say the beds are really uncomfortable. 
Uh, we just have a three inch pad. Uh, foam, memory, memory foam, foam, Costco. And super comfortable. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, I don't know how you do it without it. Yeah, so we're, um, right now I'm washing the stuff because we were using it over the weekend and um, we, we have one of those, um, it's basically like a sheet sleeping bag, so it takes care of a bottom and a top sheet. Um, and then I got this really nice alpaca blanket, super warm, pretty lightweight. Um, from Alpaca Warehouse, and that was great. Uh, that was more than warm enough for our camping trip. Couple more um, IKEA tubs in here. Another one. Again, some of the stuff I haven't really filled up because I'm just kind of beginning the camping season. I'll probably be putting some dry foods in there. These um, baskets are nice because uh, I have this one here, but then there's another one that's sort of tucked underneath the ice box that I can use for things that maybe we're not using as often, but just to give you a little bit of extra storage. Um, really trying to keep things light. Um, there's great storage in here. We have probably more than we would need. I did get this nice knife bar at um, Ikea, and I just stuck it on here with some command strips. Um, it's nice. I like having a decent knife. These were some Ikea knives. Um, so when we do cook, I can actually have a real knife. We also installed a bar, uh, just the hang bar here. Oh, yeah, another Ikea thing. Um, this is nice to put earrings or chapstick or, you know, other little odds and ends. This is nice for um, utensils, Utensils, like especially if you've gone and done some dishes. Um, and then last thing is our little pantry. Yeah, this is nice too. So basically it's just a standing shelf, uh, yeah. goes next to our refrigerator. It didn't seem to rattle around too much. Yeah, so good for dry foods. Yep. Um, Dog stuff. Bananas. Bananas. We've got a little table here, it's like a little fold out table. Um, since we gave up the table for uh, the, uh, just in favor of leaving it as a bed. This is actually like an old um, dog show grooming table that we used to use with Harris. But it's like a great little lightweight table. And like if we really were dying to have a sit down dinner, <laughs> we've got little camp stools so you could sit. Or if you wanted to play a game or something, you could sit here if you didn't want to use the um, TV tray. Um, this table's also nice, it's lightweight, it's aluminum. Um, you certainly, you know, most um, campsites have a picnic table you can use, but this is nice because you could certainly cook on it. If, so if you had a little, um, that little Korean burner we have, you, it's, you know, you're not going to set it on fire. This is like some Korean picnic blanket we got a long time ago, but we'll probably, you know, just put it out in front of the camper in the summer, like to have an extra, you know, how people put those little rugs out just an extra barrier for sand and dirt and stuff to prevent it from getting the camper. Again, lightweight, um, we just leave it in here. Um, this one we're gonna keep here. Uh, you're not really, nobody's really sitting in this little back corner and this thing tucks away really nicely so you could put shoes or whatever back in here. Um, and then you've still got, you've still got room for a couple of people to, to sit if they wanted. We don't really have anything in much in here yet. Um, this is where I'm like kind of keeping towels and uh, there's like a little wooden insert over the air conditioner so there's kind of a bottom to this shelf so I can keep linens in there. Um, ultimately when we're more full timing it this is probably where we'll keep like socks and underwear and stuff it's versus hanging clothes. Um,